Hi, I'm Josh, and this is the Science Classroom. In this video, we're going to talk about how to solve for the mass of an object when given its volume and density. Density is a relationship between the mass and the volume of an object. Mathematically, it's the ratio of the mass of an object to its volume, and it's represented by this equation. There are three variables in this equation. When we know two of them, we can always solve for the third. In this case, we're going to solve for mass. We can rearrange the equation in a couple different ways. The first method uses a bit of algebra knowledge. I can multiply both sides of the equation by v to cancel the v on the right and move it to the left side. So the equation would become m equals d times v. There's another method too. I can use this triangle tool to help solve for the unknown. What you do with this tool is that you cover up the variable that you want to solve for, in this case the m, and then the tool will tell you how to find it. With the m covered, it shows the d next to the v. When the variables are beside each other like this, it means to multiply them together. So mass equals density times volume. Here's the kind of homework question you would need to solve for your chemistry class. Gasoline has a density of 0.660 grams per milliliter. Find the mass of gasoline if you filled up a gas tank with 9,290 milliliters. Before I start to solve an equation like this, I like to organize the information first. I'll use red to highlight what the question is asking me to solve for. It says find the mass of gasoline. I also like to write in the symbol from the equation so that I can keep track of everything. So M stands for mass. Next, I'm going to use green to highlight the given information. It says that gasoline has a density of 0.660 grams per milliliter. The symbol for density is D, and the volume is 9,290 milliliters. The symbol for volume is V. I'm going to write down the equation now, D equals M over V. Then I'm going to use my triangle tool to rearrange it and solve for mass. So I'll cover up the M, and the tool tells me to multiply D and V together. I've already organized all the given information, so I can just plug it into the equation like this. Now I'll type this into my calculator, 0.660 times 9,290. I'm going to round the answer to three digits, since both of my given values had three significant digits. And so the answer is 6,130 grams. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel.